Hey guys, what is up and welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, I am Catherine, the creator of The Content Bug, and I am here to help you follow your passion by growing your audience online. Now, when I was getting started with my blog, I remember wondering what keywords were leading to my website. I would go to Google and I would type in The Content Bug, and I would type in Create Your Success Online, and I would type in How to Start a Blog and like other blog posts that I had written, and I was looking for my blog to pop up in those search results, but I never seemed to find them. And at the very beginning, I was just so confused because my and Google Analytics wasn't showing me what keywords were actually leading to my website and I had no idea what I was doing. Well, I learned a little bit more about Google Search Console and I realized that through Google Search Console you can actually figure out what keywords are leading to your website. So if you don't have Google Search Console, Google Search Console is the main platform that connects your website to Google for SEO purposes. So if you do not have Google Search Console, I actually have a complete guide to Google Search Console that you can go ahead and view in the description bar down below. Otherwise, there is more information on Google Search Console, more tutorials and everything you really need to know in the TCB vault if you want to become a member of that. But as of right now, we are going to jump to Google Search Console and I'm going to show you exactly where you can find out what keywords are leading to your website and what pages are driving the most traffic to your website. So let's go ahead and get into this. When you log into Google Search Console, this is your main dashboard. On the left-hand side, there's a menu. You're going to want to select search traffic and then search analytics. And I'm telling you, it's that simple. The first thing that will appear is the queries that are actually leading to your website. So right now, this is for the last 28 days, I've had 1,631 clicks to my website. And these are the queries that are generating the most clicks. That is what these are going, starting at the most clicks, going the whole way down through. But my favorite part about this is you can actually select this little option right here and it will take you to that exact search result to see where you're appearing in search. So for this query of questions to get to know yourself, I'm actually appearing second and this is my blog post right there. So you don't have to go into Google and start typing out these questions anymore or these keywords that you think you want to appear for. Instead, you can just go to Google Search Council and all the information you need to know is right here. Now, what if you want to know what pages are actually appearing in search? The first thing you can do is click on that queries option and then you can select pages and it's going to drop down what page it is actually leading to for that query. But my favorite thing to do, actually, I'm going to go back again, is to select this pages option right here and it's going to go from query, so the keywords that you enter, to the pages that are actually generating the most traffic. So again, this is based off clicks. So my one blog post that is 50 questions to get to know yourself is actually generating the most clicks with 737 clicks in the last 28 days. And then it's how to add titles to your pins, a blogger's guide to Instagram business, and all the way down through. Now the other cool thing about this is if you want to know what queries each of these are appearing for, so let's say add titles to your pins. What keywords that appear for? All I did is I selected it. I didn't click this little button. This button will actually take you to the blog post, but this will take you to the inside where you can look a little bit deeper and you can select this queries. And this is going to generate all of the keywords that you are currently appearing for. And it's going to go based off of clicks because that is what we have selected up here. If you want to know impressions, you can click impressions and then it will show you the impressions that you are appearing for for each of these queries. But these are all the queries that I am appearing for for just this one blog post. If you scroll the whole way down through, you can see that I am actually appearing for 105 different keywords for this blog post as of right now which is amazing. So it is really that simple. All you need to do is go on the left hand side, search traffic, search analytics, and then queries and pages. And that's it. And that is it for this video. If you did like this video and you found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel because it really does help to support me. And I will see you guys back here in another video very soon. Bye guys.